Is AMD finally going to win this generation? NVIDIA has been having several issues lately. And if I judge from the comments on my videos when I make something about NVIDIA, people are anticipating RDNA 3 like nobody's business. I mean, they really want AMD to come in and save the day. Right here, I'm holding a 6900 XT. This was the best GPU AMD could offer. Well, until they did the 6950 XT, a little bit more powerful, but this was the one that initially competed with the RTX 3090 and compete it did it actually did really well in traditional rasterization it actually put up a great fight against the Nvidia RTX 3090 of course when you get to things like ray tracing and things like that that's when it started to fall apart a little bit and even cheaper Nvidia GPUs were able to beat it fairly easily if you put in ray tracing now Nvidia does have DLSS and now DLSS 3.0 which is very impressive on the 4090 but amd also has fsr they certainly have their own version of software that kind of keeps up even if it's not as good all of the time as nvidia they certainly have a lot going on something else amd drivers definitely are a lot better this generation this is not intel i tell people i'm a gpu fanboy not nvidia not amd in fact i even bought the intel arc gpu here it is it's actually really cool looking even if it doesn't really work Work all that well because of the driver implementation i love gpus so i want to see a lot of competition if nvidia does great and it's competitive and amd comes in and even intel that's going to be better for everybody definitely now let's talk specifically about what amd may have that may give nvidia a run for its money nvidia has been having some trouble lately with the rtx 4090 now it performs extremely well don't get me wrong the performance is great some will argue the price Price is very spicy at $1599, but that's the nature of GPU pricing after all of the shortages and everything like that. It definitely has become a lot more expensive to get the highest end GPU, but the performance definitely is there. I mean, Nvidia delivered with the performance of the 4090. They have been having an issue. Now, we don't know if this is major or not as of this time. It could be with the cable on the 4090. It uses a proprietary cable in order to feed it all that power. Power. Remember, 450 watt TDP with a board that can do all the way up to 600 watts, it's going to be able to handle a lot of juice. Now, AMD has already come out and said they're not going to be using that proprietary connector. They're going to be using a regular PCIe connector like you have here on the 6900 XT, which certainly could be a positive for a lot of people. Believe it or not, RTX 4090 owners at this time are a little bit worried about their GPU and if they're going to have an issue with it bending um, the cable that is and causing a fire or something more serious. So right off the bat, AMD has already said their GPUs are not going to use that cable and their GPUs are more efficient technically than the NVIDIA GPUs. Doesn't mean they're necessarily going to perform better for the efficiency. As far as we can tell, the NVIDIA 4090, even though it does put out a lot of power, it's actually fairly efficient for what it's doing. Look at the 3090 Ti, similar 450 watt TDP, but it puts out a lot less performance than the RTX 4090, which trounces it even if you count traditional rasterized performance and ray tracing which is nvidia's really you know claim to fame at this point of course putting in the lss 3.0 on the newer generation puts it even that much further ahead so the amd 7900 xt that's the one that's going to replace this guy here the 6900 xt this had 16 gigabytes of gddr6 ram not the x variant that nvidia got which while it does run hotter typically does show some performance gains in different games it is the faster memory now we think that the new 7900 xt is going to have 20 gigabytes of gddr6 not sure yet if it might be the x variant it may just be the regular six which is probably fine they could have infinity cache and a bunch of other things to make the memory fast so we're going to see if that's going to be enough to take on the 4090. I don't think so because AMD may have something else up its sleeve. 7950 XT, maybe 24 gigabytes of VRAM. Maybe that's the one that's going to be priced closer 
to the RTX 4090 and be able to sort of take it on in terms of its performance. So pricing is going to be where AMD could really make a difference. Nvidia recently canceled their RTX 4080, the 12 gigabyte version. That one was $899. That's the only GPU under $1,000 in the new generation that they have going on now. Everything else is the 4080 at $1,199 or the 4090 at $1,599. Of course, they still have a lot of RTX 3000. Trust me, AMD has a lot of RX 6000 GPUs to sell as well. They've been dropping the prices on these, the 6000 series, very, very rapidly. Even the 6900 XT, they're going for well under $700 now. Even though their MSRP is supposed to be $999, as with everything else, we never really saw that price until very, very recently. So the problem now, there's nothing really competitive under $1,000. If you want the newest generation, you have to go literally to something like this. That's still pretty competitive. If you get this for six or 700 bucks, definitely not bad, but it's going to be older now with new GPUs coming out. AMD can really price their RDNA 3 competitively so that way they can take some of the crown under $1,200. Now, if I were to guess, I would say the 7900 XT, if this guy here came in at $999, I would say the new one, you have to think that it's going to be a little more expensive. If they priced it at $999, I mean, that would be pretty incredible. There'd be nothing else NVIDIA has to compete with that if it performs close to like a 4090. Now, in terms of traditional rasterization, that's like regular frames per second. That's what we think. That's what the 6900 XT did against the 4090. Ray tracing, that's not going to beat NVIDIA as far as we can tell, unless like AMD did some really crazy advancements in ray tracing. I don't really foresee that being something that's going to happen. Most likely the regular frames per second is going to be very competitive, but ray tracing is going to be, you know, probably a large amount less like it was last generation, simply because NVIDIA made a lot of gains with the 4090. But that can still satisfy a lot of people. 7900 XT, if it comes in at like 1199, the same price as a 4080, that could be certainly very competitive. Now, AMD, one thing to get clear, you can't view them as the value brand compared to NVIDIA. Even though some people may have thought that, that time is really long gone. AMD wants to be priced very, very premium. Look at what they've done with their CPUs. The 7000 series is a premium priced product. It's priced more expensive than Intel, who used to be the most expensive as far as people were concerned. You're not getting the best value anymore with AMD. In terms of CPUs, that's just the truth. If you want the best gaming CPU, 30, the 13900K is a lot cheaper and provides the same or sometimes better performance than the 7950X. So the CPUs in general have been priced a lot more expensive. Don't think it's going to be that much different with the GPUs. They don't want to sell you cheap, cheap GPUs. They want to sell you something that competes with NVIDIA on the high end. Intel tried to price their GPUs a little bit lower, more competitively, but it didn't really work out because their drivers are not yet mature. Intel Arc really isn't ready. So that's a whole different discussion. AMD, the only reason they were had to price this at $999 and not the $1,500 that the 3090 was, even though it performs very close in terms of traditional rasterization, it does not have everything that NVIDIA has. Ray tracing performance is still much inferior on this. It's just not the same level of GPU. Not to mention, NVIDIA does still have a little bit better brand loyalty because their drivers have been more stable. They've been around for a longer time on the very high end. AMD still playing a little bit of catch up. Now with this generation, they can definitely turn the tables a little bit. But not to say that the 7900 XT, I wouldn't expect it to really come in all that cheaply. They're going to want to put a premium on their product, especially after they saw the 4090 sell out pretty quickly. They know there's a demand and there's a huge demand from NVIDIA buyers who haven't been able to get a 4090 or maybe are spooked off by the connector. They're going to want to see what AMD have to offer. So I would think a 7900 XT, at the very minimum, might be priced like a 4080 12 gigabyte. It might be 1199. I wouldn't be surprised even if they priced it a little bit more, like 1299. After all, it may be their highest end GPU for now. Now, maybe if they decide to launch the 7950 XT as the highest end GPU, I don't think they could price it like a 4090 unless, for some reason, the performance really blows it out of the water. That'd be different, but. 
I would think they do have to price it at least a few hundred dollars less. $1599 for a $4090. What would you pay for a $7950 XT with 24 gigabytes of VRAM? That's a tough one. Maybe $1399? $1299 would be a little bit better. What does that mean for the 7900 XT with 20 gigabytes of VRAM? Let's say that performs better than a 4080. Maybe $1099 actually sounds pretty reasonable for a 7900 XT. It's $100 more than this is, which is exactly $100 more than the 4090 is compared to the 3090. So AMD could say Nvidia went up 100 bucks on their sort of highest end GPU, and then they went up $100 on this, the 6900 XT. 1099, more than I think about it, I'm actually really starting to like that number. Now that leaves a lot of space for the 7950 XT if an AMD decides to launch that now or later on. That could be anywhere from that 1099 up to the price of the 4090, 1599. Or if we have a bad GPU shortage again, over $2,000, like we saw with the 6900 XT, believe it or not, Micro Center was selling these as well as other retailers for over $2,000 at one point during the uh, shortage, or at least trying to sell them. They would stay on the shelves for a long time. That's another problem with AMD. Last generation, they just couldn't keep up with production to be competitive with Nvidia. And these GPUs could have taken a lot of market share, but I think they were priced very incorrectly. $999 was great for this but most retailers never sold it for this price and they never sold it in general i would see these stay on the shelves for months even though nvidia gpus were selling out immediately left and right during 2021 amd and the third party aib partners should have lowered their prices to be more competitive especially with the retailers like micro center they would have moved they would have moved a lot more gpus and gathered probably more market share and mind share to better prepare for the launch of rdna3 so we're going to see if this is going to be any different a lot of people are excited i'm excited too to see what amd is going to bring are they going to deliver the performance ray tracing performance are they going to deliver the pricing and availability that's going to be very important if the gpu is priced cheaply but it's not available like last time it's going to be kind of a moot point nvidia will continue to dominate even if it's sold out it seems to produce more gpus than amd so it's going to be very interesting to see what happens let me know what you think down below remember to subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video.